Hello, hello. I'm going to wait for some people to come on here before I start doing an announcements and also um, let you know what's going on. So if you cannot hear me, just um, send, uh, let me know, or just send me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Uh, I'm not going to be on here too long. So, <clears throat> excuse me, just a minute. I'm trying to actually find it on here just in case some of y'all comment and I can see your comments and everything. But if you can't hear me, just uh, please let me know. I'm going to give a few minutes before anybody come on, come on here. Okay. Well, welcome to the Unspoken Heart Discussion Hour. Um, I do apologize uh, for being a little bit late. Um, there are some um, difficulties that was going on. But um, also, as some of y'all, hold on just a second. As some of y'all probably already seen on the post, well, we were supposed to be having a special guest come in. Um, we was gonna discuss about the online bullying, which um, I still wanna talk about the online bullying and everything, but I'm still doing a lot of research on it and I'll be researching more later because I do have some things already that I have taken notes on. Um, I was gonna save it for next week, which I'm still and I'm going to save it for next week. It's just this week we were supposed to have a discussion with the guests on her experience and her growth and strength behind the online bullying. But um, our guests didn't show up, so uh, we will I uh, will still come on here to give the announcements to tell you what's going on and everything. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, clear my throat. Um, I do want to say thank you for our prayers, the text messages, the calls everything. Um, I was sick for seven days. I still have a little bit of symptoms and everything going on, but um, I've gotten a whole lot better, but I do thank y'all for those um, those prayers and everything. Uh, it was unexpected. It's hit out of nowhere, and um, I, I am better, so I do appreciate y'all love and everything and reaching out to me for that. Um, moment I was going through there. I was bedridden, wasn't strong at all. But you know, I'm getting back up now, feeling better, just still have like a little bit of the cough, um, which is, you know, just a respiratory, you know, infection that I did have. But you know, as I said, I do appreciate y'all showing that love, reaching out to show you concern and everything. And I do thank God for the ones that did also come by to help me out to see if I needed anything. Uh, we're going to give some updates on some things that's going on. Like I said, today's discussion will not be um, happening um, due to the non-appearance, but um, it's all good. Uh, st still, we're still going to come on and do what I got to do. And like I said already, for the ones that's just coming in, um, I still want to talk about the online bullying because as I got to research things, I got to discover that that there's a lot behind it. And when I say a lot, I mean, it's, to me, from what I've seen, it is, it's a form of abuse. And before we can go um, discuss about it, I want to research more, get more knowledge about it, because I don't want to give any wrong, um, you know, message or relate anything that's not true, you know, because, you know, some of us have experienced bullying and, in our upbringing and also now. So, you know, next week I will, I will be coming on. We'll just have a one-on-one -on -one discussion about the online bullying. You'll see my post and everything. And um, after that, that will be next week. After that, we will, um, I don't know, we'll have a guest or anything, but you'll see the discussion for that. But before we get started, um, I do want to announce some things um, so that y'all can mark your calendars if you want to find something to do. Hopefully, this pandemic will be uplifted by the time these events do come up. But we do have 
an event that's going to be going on August 21st is the Michael Gray's production. There will be a live play called Cries of the Wounded Soul. You can actually go on his page under Michael Gray's production. And there's a link that you can click on to where it will lead you to the website. And it will give you more about it. Um, also, uh, from the word that I got from him today, you will be also able to purchase the tickets, but I don't think you'll be able to actually purchase them until May. And that's when everything's been lifted because as y'all know, there's been a lot of closures. So um, the live play is on still, but it's August 21st. You can purchase your tickets in May, but um, visit Michael Gray's Productions page on Facebook. There's a link on there that will lead you to the actual website. Uh, you'll also see some of the cast uh, members, some upcoming events that's gonna be going on. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm so sorry. Uh, so just keep your eyes on that as well. And as some of y'all have seen, we actually have a Mother's Day raffle going on. Uh, I do, uh, I am gonna give shout outs to the ones that have already donated. Um, I'm gonna let you know that whether you donate towards the Mother's Day uh, raffle or you donate $20 or more to the publishing of the book, that your name automatically enters into the box for the drawing. The drawing will be next month. As y'all know, Mother's Day is next month. And so if y'all want to put a smile on her face, take a, you know, get your name in there to get a chance to win this beautiful basket, which you see right here, which included in the basket, you'll see we have a, a beautiful, alluring aroma scented candle. We also have something for her feet, actually two things. Yes, yeah, for her feet, to keep her feet warm for the ones that like to have socks on their feet when they're walking around the house. Um, we also included some, um, there's a mask where you heat or either you can put it in the freezer. And to relieve tension, because as y'all know, I'm also a meditational coach. So in meditation, that's also a way to relieve your tension. So there's also um, that on there, that in, included in the basket is the mask. Uh, we also have the Unspoken Heart T-shirt, which you see right here with the big face. So you will also receive within the gift basket uh, the Unspoken Heart T-shirt. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we also have um, the, a notebook. So there's a notebook where she keep her notes or if she want to write her own poetry. There's a notebook in there and included with the notebook is also the Unspoken Heart pen. In the basket as well, you receive an autograph the Unspoken Heart book. It will include a free bookmarker. It's already autographed. Uh, you also receive some pamphlets on domestic violence and resources and everything within the gift basket. Um, also, trying to see what else I got in here. Um, this is sad. Um, it's other things in there as well. Um, we're just uh, also gonna be included in there. It's the Bath and Body Works the shower gel, the, the um, body spray, and the lotion as well. So that all is included in the baskets with some sweet candies as well. So if you want to enter for a chance to win the gift basket for the Unspoken Heart, that you can cash app it to dollar sign the Unspoken Heart. That is the, the dollar sign, the unspoken heart. And the raffles for the gift baskets are $25. Now, also, as y'all seen on the post, we also have a fundraiser going on. We are trying to raise money in order to get the unspoken heart two book published. So no amount is too small, too big. Everything makes a big difference towards getting this book published. We have already had four awards, <coughs> excuse me, behind the, the Unspoken Heart one. And it took us on a, a great long, you know, journey. So we want to continue on in standing the ground, supporting breaking the chain cycle and silence of abuse. And this book, uh, the Unspoken Heart one, uh, from the feedback that we have received, it has healed a lot of wounded hearts. And it also was a therapy for others to gain strength. Now, we want to continue that on 
in this second book, they not only be able to possess all that, but they also, through the words, be able to possess the strength. They get to feel the strength and how to love yourself. As you know, this book is in the true existence of poetry. So um, this book here, The Unspoken Heart 2, we're having a fundraiser to raise money. Like I said, no amount is too small, too big. Everything makes a big difference. Now, if even if you donate $20 or more to this event, your name automatically gets put into the box for a chance to win the gift, the Mother's Day's gift baskets. So just to let you know, um, we do uh, thank um, Terrence Spencer, sing, uh, singer. Um, also, um, we thank, um, I can't believe I'm forgetting her name. <laughs> This is sad. I should have wrote it down. And it's like tip on my tongue, but you know who you are. Um, I put it on my post. Thank you so much for your donation. Uh, also, Michael Gray and Dre Coop, uh, they donated towards getting the book published. But also, so that they, they know, they donated $20 and more towards getting the book published. So their name have automatically been placed into the box for a chance to win the Mother's Day gift basket. <clears throat> that's um, all the events I um, have that's going on and also some of the up-to-date events. Um, as some of y'all seen on the post um, yesterday, my daughter took it live video. Um, I do appreciate and truly thank y'all for being an inspiration um, towards that. So um, what y'all have seen is true. I mean, I'm still in awe. I can say thank you, Cedric Bellany, most of all. Thank you so much, you know, for believing in me, taking faith, and actually help, uh, helping me to make this happen. It is a dream come true. Lala uh, Marie, also, y'all will know, she's the voice, one of the voices on one of the tracks. Um, also, in memory of my son, we thank God for um, Cedric Bellamy. He was able to retrieve my son's voice, uh, which a lot of y'all know he has passed on. Uh, to be with his father, and uh, we was able to get his um, voice on the CD, and so it was emotional for me at first. I broke down, but now it actually feels good to actually hear his voice again. Um, also, I want to thank Dornice Williams, which is also a part of that CD as well on one of the tracks. She did an excellent job on there. Very believable. I really love it. Um, I want to also thank... Um, Styles Magazine, John Todd, uh, he's actually doing a CD cover. And yes, I did say CD. So now your girl, Spicy Gray, not only have a book, but we have a CD that's going to be released. Um, I got two different dates. So um, we're looking at probably, possibly the week of the 24th. I will keep y'all updated to um, on that CD and when it will be released so that y'all would know. Um, when I decided to do the CD, the CD was my vision in my heart to do towards the ones that are blind. When I thought about my book and how people said, how they reacted to what they got from the unspoken heart, um, part one, I was thinking, what about the ones that are blind? The one that cannot read. So that's where I came up with doing a CD so that they can actually get a part of the enjoyment and the therapy from the book as well. But also for those that's going through PTSD or, you know, just for something relaxing to listen to. Um, so I do truly thank God for that and the people he paid, placed in my path to make this happen. So um, y'all seen on my post, the people that I did thank for that. So just be keeping a watch on my post. Um, I will continue to give updates on that. The CD, um, that the cover that you've seen on Facebook is not the cover for the CD. Um, we are in the last stages. Um, we're just waiting on um, my photographer to finish up with the um, book, the cook, the CD cover. I'm sorry, so so used to saying book cover, but we're waiting on him to finish the CD cover. Once he's finished with the CD cover and it's sent over, we will know an exact date when the CD will be re released and I will come on here and announce it. I will also 
let y'all know where you can get it. But I will also be retrieving some copies. So that way, you know, we can also have it for the event that's coming up in August. <clears throat> um, I think that's all for our announcements. That's all that's going on. And, you know, um, I will be seeing y'all next week for sure. I do apologize for today. You know, our guests did not show up, so we do not have a guest, our guest for today, which, you know, the title was for the, what she was, you know, what she was standing against. But I said I was still gonna come on here and give the announcements, the updates, and everything. So don't 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 worry about it. Spicy Great will be back on and rolling. This past week did kind of throw me back because of the sickness and everything. Y'all all stay safe out there. Um, make sure you do what you have to do to stay well. You know, everybody is valuable in life. Don't ever think that you're not. You're important to people and people do love you. So, you know, I do thank y'all for the love that y'all have shown me. And I will make sure that I will get y'all those updates as well to that. Um, also, I know I did forget to mention, I do want to also say that I thank Nikita McClure, most of all, the one person in my life that has shown me so much love as a sister. She is the main one that actually encouraged and inspired me to do the CD. Baby girl, I love you so much. Thank you so much. I am so happy I found me a new baby. So I'm very excited for that to come out. Uh, I did get to hear the final piece and the masterpiece. Uh, all we waiting on now is just the CD cover. Um, I really love it. I really love you for that, Cedric. And also Stephanie Nias, you know, Miss Fire with three eyes. Thank you so much, y'all. Y'all ladies have really made my day and encouraged me in so many ways to um, push towards doing a CD. And I'm so glad she came on. Monica Russell, thank you for your donation. <laughs> I couldn't think of the name. It was right on the tip of my tongue. But um, for the ones that just coming in, I just see your name. Um, Monica, Terrence uh, Baker Singer, um, also Michael Gray, Dre Coop. Thank y'all for your donation and believing in me and having faith in me in order to get the book published. You know, um, we're trying to get this book published this year and real soon because we're um, trying to move forward and getting the memoirs off. And I know a lot of people question about the memoirs. Um, I did the Unspoken Heart one and two as a true answer to the poetry style for therapy. It was my place to escape for what I was going through but I can also say that it was a healing. So, you know, I know a lot of people wonder why I write the way I do, why I stand the way I do, why I speak the way I do. And I got to let people know, you're not alone. Then Book of Memoirs is actually gonna be the book that tells the true story on my own generational chain of abuse and how I came to today to say enough is enough and to break that chain. Um, let me give out my shout out. Ah, hi, Nikita. I love you too, baby. Hi, Monica Russell. Uh, let's see here. Michael Gray, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. He said, I'm here for you, girl. You always been there no matter what I was going through. Hi, Terrence Baker. Just speaking about you. <laughs> Don't be hurt. You get an invite. I explained that to you. Um, I really be glad when I get this Mac computer that Cedric was telling me about because um, what I have now, it gives me problems and issues, situations, you know what I'm saying? But um, y'all will see as the time goes, um, we're almost there, almost there. Um, we're upgrading in the podcasting uh, system with the Spoken Heart Discussion Hour. Thank God for Cedric Bellamy. He's been schooling me, educating me on the podcasting, which, you know, we're trying to make it successful. And that's what I'm striving for. It's my passion. It's my heart. It's my baby, as y'all see. Um, we have came a long way with everything, and I truly thank God for that. But like I said, he placed Cedric there. We got, we got like, um, I think it's, uh, we got our headphones. We're just waiting to get um, another mixer board, which y'all seen on the Stephanie Nias. Uh, show that where we was able to, you know, hear the phone calls that y'all hear a piece of 
her track. Also, you know, other sound effects and everything. So we are slowly but surely gonna get that. But as um, I'm pushing for it, I'm very passionate about this. I'm very serious about this. So we invested and I got people that's helping me to invest in the podcasting. So, you know, I truly appreciate Terrence Baker and all y'all that share the videos, that share the polls, that does the watch parties and everything. I love y'all so much. Thank you. Because, you know, as I was playing to um, Terrence in the conversation that we had, it's very hard for females out here to actually, you know, push and they have to work harder to do things in a, not just in the community, community, but also in podcasting and stuff like that. So, you know, I really truly thank y'all. I love y'all for y'all support. I appreciate it. But um, like I said, we have the two events going on. We have the book publishing event, which we're, um, it's a donation event. Just donate from your heart. You know, every little bit is appreciated. I appreciate everybody that opened their heart and faith and, you know, supporting what we're doing. Um, also, the second event is the Unspoken Heart Mother's Day gift basket. Um, the Mother's Day gift basket, the raffle tickets are $25. All you have to do is the cash app $25 to dollar sign the Unspoken Heart. You know I received it once I return a heart to you. Once you receive that heart back, knowing that I receive the raffle money, your name is automatically put into the box. Now, if you give a donation towards getting the book published, whether you publish the book or purchase a ticket through the raffle, I mean, you know, donate towards getting the book published, your name automatically, when it's $20 and above, it automatically goes into the box for the drawing for a chance for the Mother's Day gift basket. So uh, I really truly thank y'all for tuning in. I do apologize um, that we wasn't able to fulfill the discussion today on a topic, but we will be back next Thursday, 5 p.m. here on the Unspoken Heart for a discussion on online bullying. Look out for my post, share, gift party. Appreciate it. Much love. Y'all have a blessed day and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.